Okay, what I want to show here is a quick way to create reflection on surfaces. So I've got my perspective viewport active. I'm going to click on quick render just to show you what I've already done. And uh, you can see I've got some tiles on this wall that are reflective and they're showing the other things in the scene. So I'll go ahead and turn that off. And you can see the scene a little bit better from these other views. What I want to do is show one from scratch so you can see exactly how to do it. So I'm going to go to box and I've got auto grid turned on so I can draw this box right on this other box and I'll make it small enough so we can see everything else in the scene and I'll go to materials. And in materials I'll just make a get a new material let's say that one and usually a good idea to give these things names and I'm just going to slide up until I get to maps and under maps I'm looking for reflection and refraction. I'm going to use both of those. I'm going to say I want 100% reflection which is like a mirror and refraction I'm going to say just uh, a few percent and that's where the light can go through the object like a piece of glass. So on reflection I'm going to click on none. Once I'm on none I'm going to go to ray trace and double click that and that brings me back in and lets me adjust my ray trace but what I'm going to do instead is go to go to parent, this black arrow, and click that. And it brings me back to the level I was at before, the parent level. And I'm going to drag this ray trace right down here and save a little time and just make a copy of it instead of having to click it and go to ray trace again. Now I'm going to, now that this object is selected, I'm going to click on this apply to object button so that the material is applied to this object and I'll close the material editor. Now we'll go ahead and test it out. Click on quick render. And it's going to take a minute because when you use ray trace it's actually firing rays throughout the scene to give you a realistic depiction of everything in the scene. So it can be pretty compute intensive especially if you have a lot of stuff going on in the scene. So you can see now that we're, you can see through this a little bit and it's reflecting everything else in the scene. And uh, it takes a little bit of time, but really nice tool. So that's ray trace and that's how to do a reflective surface.